Hey everyone, welcome to my speed painting for Eleanor and Rosie. Uh, they're tiny paintings, they're about 4x6, well they're meant to fit in the 4x6 or 10x15cm frame. So the actual painting are fairly small. Um, I've tested by um, transferring my sketch and then masking out the silhouette and the leaves that I wanted to keep white in the background. And I'm doing some background wash with um, you know, wetting the paper first and then putting my paint down and a little bit of salt to create some texture. I think I did maybe one or two layers of paint like that. After it's been dried, I've removed the salt and I'm re removing the masking fluid with my eraser. It's not my best eraser, but it's perfect for this purpose. I think that will be its, its job from now on. I'll mostly be using it for removing masking fluid. And the masking fluid that you saw at the beginning was by Molotov. And now I'm gonna... Um, apparently off camera I've added more masking fluid. Um, that's a decision that I kind of regret because first it was throwing, up, uh, throwing off the color balance on my webcam and also it was kind of difficult to get a good idea of what the final painting would look like without you know this uh, blue um, lines and dots here and there but I made it work in the end uh, I did that to save myself a little bit of time by preserving the white and not having to do all the highlight at the end, but um, I don't think it saved me that much time. Anyway, I started by the skin and then the clothes, and a little bit of shading uh, and the skin as well. Look at this uh, zoom, it's quite impressive and now I'm doing the shading. Well, I put a bit of paint and blend out and repeat the process until I'm happy with how strong the shading is. Right. I'm doing the hair, the hair, same process. And I start, I'm starting to define the strands as well a bit more. Not too much on the rosy, rosy your hair is just one big mass. Now more shading and I've used my uh, you can see the colors I've used on each painting are complementary color and colors and it's working really well I kind of wanted a warm background and a cold figure on the left oh, on both of them pretty much it's, it's working very well I'm happy anyway you let me know what you think now some more shading and started starting to work on the details. And I think that's pretty much it for I oh know the face, a little bit more details and I think I move on to painting the hair. Uh, yeah. Eleanor. So I've switched to a very tiny paintbrush, it's a size zero, and I'm doing the darkest shade. And the same on um, Rosie, even though there's a bit less work to do on the hair for this girl because of the style of hair I was going to going for. And yeah. Uh, I've removed the masking fluid here so I can see a bit better so I now know what I need to fix and what I need to preserve. And apparently I forgot to it trim some of the footage out. <laughs> Sometimes I walk, uh, I walk away from my desk without uh, turning off the recording thinking I will, uh, I will edit that out and then I uh, forget about it. <laughs> Now I've moved on, I moved on to my colored pencil. I use polychromos pencils. I really like those pencils. And um, I think for the shading I used uh, dark sepia and dark indigo. I really like those colors for shading skin tone and pretty much everything. It, it's working very well for me, I think. Did, um, same for the uh, eyelashes. I think I used dark sepia. 
but I will go back with some black later. I'm using a green, a dark green pencil and I'm not quite sure black or indigo to add some shading in the hair and have some pink to do the blush. I didn't want her and them to have makeup but I did want them to have pinker cheeks a little bit. Bring a little bit of life in their skin. a few details in the hair, not much. And now I'm drawing the um, jewelry and painting that in with a Faber Castell gold pen. Um, it's a bit dark. I really need to get a better gold paint. Um, I use it on almost all my paintings, so really I should be getting something a bit better. Now I'm using my general to do some pearls and I'm outlining the pearls to give them some more weight and to show that they're standing up from the skin and I'm doing some highlights with my general pen. And yeah, there's not much left to do. I think the last thing I will be doing is... Um, more highlights apparently and I think I'm moving on to painting the leaves in the background. I use uh, white gouache which is a opaque water-based paint um, to redefine and smooth the uh, leaves. They've lost a little bit of uh, their shape uh, in the uh, background painting and masking out and stuff like that and I'm adding a few splatters of gouache really I uh, really few of them, I didn't want that to be too visible. And I uh, signed it, well I'm just about to sign it. Maybe. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, I'm using my pigment liner to um, redefine the darkest points so under the chin, the eyelashes, under the tiara uh, and signing. And that's it. That's it for this one. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.